What's going on guys? Today I was going to be installing some shims because when I installed the three leaf out of leaf from Icon, um, I did the rear lift first before I did the Eibach kit and the rear kind of introduced a little bit of vibrations between 15 and 30 miles an hour. The vibration isn't that noticeable, but I can feel it in the steering wheel and the pedals. I don't think any of the passengers can really feel it but uh, I might as well just try to fix it. Uh, shims are pretty cheap, they're like 30 bucks. So um, so yeah, so I was planning on doing that today, but then I found out about uh, a recall on the jack stands that I have. So the Harbor Freight jack stands uh, are, are recalled because this apparently isn't very secure and they're kind of failing on some people's vehicles if they get moved around while under load. So this would, be drop down and yeah, not good news. So uh, that's a part number if any of you have the same ones. Uh, if you have the Pittsburgh ones from Harbor Freight, I would definitely make sure they don't have a recall on them because mine do. And now I gotta get new ones. I gotta take these back and uh, get the store credit at Harbor Freight or whatever. So today, instead of installing the shims, I'm actually just gonna go out to Citrus Wildlife Management Area, do a little solo trip and get the truck dirty, get muddy, and maybe get some cool shots out in the woods. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up just a few things just in case, you know, I get stuck because I am on a solo trip. I'm sure people are gonna be out there, it's a Saturday, but uh, just in case I wanna bring some stuff. First stop's gonna be to get some gas. Um, I have about half a tank right now, so best to fill up, especially it's like an hour away.
a good idea to really test and stretch out the eye box suspension since i really haven't had a chance to you know get it off-road and like kind of go crazy with it you know i've done a little bit of high speed stuff off-road uh, i did some stuff in georgia going through rivers i have another video with that if you want to see it but uh <laughs> this is this is the true test yep three wheels stretched out completely I want to show you guys what I just went up. Uh, it's pretty gnarly and I, I think I might have bent my step a little bit, but obviously it doesn't look as gnarly on camera. But this rut, I'd say is about maybe like four foot deep. So I'm standing in the bottom. And then you can see the spot where I absolutely annihilated my predator steps. <laughs> 